Hello and welcome to this weather update. It is March 12th, 2019 and you're looking at a satellite image here on the left hand part of your screen and you can see uh, clear skies over us now. Some cirrus though is starting to roll in uh, unfortunately across our area. Unfortunately today was not a clear day even though a lot of the models indicated it was going to be a clear day that was not the case uh, because we had this area of cloudiness and moisture uh, probably like a little spoke of energy or moisture in the northwest flow that kept most of our area in the cloudiness. You could see Long Island here covered in uh, a deck of stratal cumulus clouds uh, and uh, the wind was pretty high too today. It did have a tendency to break up a little bit in the afternoon. Um, still don't have that image yet. Uh, but pretty much all over Long Island here in this one it doesn't look quite as bad. And then the clouds are more over New Jersey in this one. But it was supposed to be a clear day, and it wasn't uh, because of this uh, moisture that was uh, coming in here uh, from the, uh, I don't know, maybe from the lakes? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, uh, that was our only chance for some clear skies this week. Uh, we will have to wait for the weekend for that. So uh, let's uh, talk about uh, the skies. I'll go right to the skies, and then we'll talk about the uh, next precipitation event that we'll be having. So uh, you'll see here in the GFS the Cirrus rolls in on us tomorrow. And we have a high overcast by the afternoon, and then we're stuck in the clouds pretty much uh, all through uh, Thursday, and then Friday we have the rain, and Saturday we might get rid of the clouds, uh, and then Sunday uh, would be our next chance for a clear day. Uh, Saturday or Sunday uh, could be a clear day after that, and then maybe we'll have some more chances for clear weather after that, hopefully, maybe sometime next week. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, that's in the long range. I'm not going to speculate that far out on the models. Um, so let's uh, talk about the uh, next uh, precipitation event that we'll be getting across our area. And it's not until Friday. Um, uh, so it's going to be dry, even though we're going to have plenty of clouds. It's going to be dry uh, for the next two days, Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, but we have this uh, area of rain that's going to be moving into our area on Friday. And it's going to take its sweet time moving through. It's probably going to rain all day Friday. Uh, and then that moves out by Saturday. We have a dry weekend with sunshine, and then we have a, a very weak system that could bring us some very light mixed precipitation on Monday. So uh, here's a look at what the precipitation is going to be from that storm, uh, the, the front that's going to be moving through on Friday. You can see uh, it's, it, it's varied. Uh, some parts of East Long Island only gets maybe a half an inch, but further to the west, maybe closer to an inch. Uh, but uh, the indication is that the precipitation will be showery, but unfortunately it's too far away for our uh, shorter range models to look at. I will uh, go to them right now and we'll see. I think it's too far away for the NAM. Uh, and I'm going to have enough of that in any anyway. Let's see if the 18Z goes out that far. I don't think it's going to. Yeah, it's not going to. You can see it's a cold front moving through. So the precipitation will be showery. Uh, and the other thing is it's going to also be very warm. So let's go back to the GFS and show you what's going to be happening with the temperatures now for the next uh, couple of days. Now temperatures have dropped today after being kind of mild yesterday. Today we're in the uh, low 40s. Uh, tomorrow uh, we will probably be in the mid 40s so it warms up a little bit. You see all this warm air over here. So as we go into Thursday that warm air comes even closer. Uh, Long Island uh, fortunately it's still uh, it's maybe around 50 on Long Island. You can see in Jersey it's in the 60s, but look at this warm air. You have air temperatures in the 70s. So this is some pretty warm air. And look at how far it's going up into all the way into Michigan. Uh, and as we go into Friday, that warm air gets even closer to us. Uh, we have uh, temperatures in the mid-50s mid, mid 50s for our area. And you can see, look at that. You even have mid-70s into uh, Virginia here. So uh, that's uh, very unusual. But, you know, as we go into spring, you're going to start seeing more of that. And then the front passes and we're uh, down uh, dropping through the 40s on sa Saturday and Sunday we're in the 40s so I'm not going to go much beyond that with the temperature but I do want to show you that this air mass will also I believe be also humid as well uh, as we get closer to this event I'll you know I'll do another weather update showing you you can see uh, we have dew points in the mid 50s so that, uh, that moisture is going to fuel the um, showers and thunderstorms for uh, very much like a summer forecast for Friday uh, that is going to fuel uh, that. Uh, so I think uh, that will almost wrap up this weather update. We're not quite done yet. I want to show you the ice situation here. Uh, 
and the water temperature is offshore. So I want to show you that. Get to the climate part of this weather update. Do wait for this to load here. So let's see how we're doing with ice cover. Actually, that's not the one I want to use. I want to use this one. Um, it seems to be a little better. Still, look at all this thin ice here. It's not normal to have all this thin ice. Still a lot of missing ice over here. But the glare, most glaring thing is this area right here. Uh, Bearing straight. Uh, really, uh, real serious lack of. I mean, you like I said, this is a big area. You could, you could almost fit now. It's actually grown. I think you could actually fit the entire state of New York in this area of missing ice. That's a lot of missing ice. That's very, very concerning indeed. Very concerning. So let's go to EarthMoleSchool.net. We'll look at a few other parameters before I wrap up this weather update. And let's go and look at. The oceans, sea surface temperature anomalies. Yep, we still have that warm water. Look at this warm, this very hot. This has been going on now for a while. This extremely hot water off the Atlas coast. It's very unusual. Nobody's really brought this up, which is really surprising, you know, because they really should. And there, and there again is that El Nino in the equatorial Pacific. That is the El Nino right there. So that's. That's the reason why our winter has not been great, unfortunately. So uh, that will wrap up this weather update. Um, so unfortunately, no, not going to be clear for the, any other days this week, but hopefully maybe by the weekend we'll get some more clear weather. Um, see the cirrus rolling in already on us. So um, that's going to conclude this weather update. Take it easy.